Jess yep. Vidalo asks, what's new on the subject of high temperature or even room temperature superconductors? Are we getting any closer to grasping how it works? And will this knowledge in conjunction with 3D printing create a new industrial age? Sounds like he's making a prediction of his own, doesn't yeah. it? He's like, am I right? What do you think? He's a sage. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, well, maybe she's a sage. 3D printing is fabulous, and uh, what's this? What's the state of uh, superconductors in room? Well, I don't know that uh, we have superconductors that work at sort of liquid helium temperatures. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants That's to get them. That's kind of cold, though. Yeah, right? yeah. Four to four Kelvin. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, cold. four we, Kelvin sounds cold. It is it's, cold. It's even colder than like Canada. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's like really super cold. Canada. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but wouldn't it be good if they worked with liquid nitrogen? Wouldn't they be good if they worked with? With frozen water. Yeah. So, but it's a long way off as far as I know. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. What yeah. I would do, were I king of the forest, is invest again in these nanotubes, in the um, getting carbon atoms to arrange themselves in these extraordinary tubes where they have very, very low electrical resistance. All right. But Let's the, do it. The 3D printing thing is yeah. here. Suppose we 3D amazing. printed carbon tubes. <laughs> oh, could we ever do that? Is that a thing in the future? It seems very reasonable to me, but Great. I'm not a carbon tube printer. But it's uh, quite, it's have you quite guys amazing. ever 3D printed? I've never done oh, that. Oh, it's have cool. You? They have them, in, cool. and you know they're affordable now, sort yeah. of. Uh, you can for get them at Staples. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, how? That so, I didn't know. How much are like meaning a few thousand dollars? Yeah, or? less than two thousand dollars. Oh wow! And then you can make your own salt shakers. I can't wait to go home and make I salt think shakers I could... and plastic swords. Too bad we can't. People can't see this because it's radio. But yeah. Eugene's eyes have just lit yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, he's ready a... to get out of here and go buy a three D printer. Yeah, but you yeah, know they they use them. We have them in the labs in the shops at uh, Columbia, right. for example, and and the students learn how to use them and they oh, wow. do incredible things with them. The next generation of kids will be like, why aren't you three D printing exactly. that? Exactly. Why are you going to a store to buy something like right, this. Right, yes. So it's additive machining. If you've not thought about it, generally when you shape something, you remove material, generally. Mm -hmm. But this is a process by which you add material. Oh, it's meaning quite you don't a cut out. That's I right. See. It's quite a different idea, and you can make shapes that are literally were literally impossible to make wow. heretofore. It's quite a time to be alive. It's exciting. The left arm.